So I remember it was my very favorite Christmas. I was about eight years old. We had just moved to this small town, Willis, Texas. And my mom came and told us, look, you're not gonna have a Christmas this year. We just moved, we don't have money. She was pregnant with my sisters at the time. And so it was, it was six of us. We were sad, but we wanted her not to feel bad. So we were okay with it. And we were in the room, I remember, just playing around, trying to just get okay with the situation, thinking we wasn't going to have Christmas. Not just presents, but no food, no um, bags of fruit and candy. We were told nothing. So we heard this knock on the door. And my mom was like, be quiet, y'all go back in the room, be quiet. And so we, we're nosy, so we're like, what's going on, who out there? We don't know anybody, we just moved to this, this new city. And so we heard them talking quietly. And all of a sudden we heard my mom cry. And my mom is this strong woman. She's a single mother, strong. So I really never saw my mom cry. So we rushed out at that point because we're very protective of our mother. So we rushed out and there was this group of people just there. I, I, couldn't, I can't tell you how they looked or anything, but the only thing I saw was just a wall full of gifts a wall full of um, a table had food on it and we just started jumping around and and I was eight so I didn't really understand the real um, the severity in the in my mom's emotions but I saw her face and the tears and, and I heard one woman say don't cry we all need help sometime just realize that people are here for you. We saw you move into this town with these beautiful kids and we just wanted to help. And at that time I was so excited, but I was just looking at these people like they didn't know us at all, but they were still helping us. And it just made me feel so happy because I, I was so sad at first. And that feeling just made me realize that that you're really not in this world alone. And it just gave me this feeling of hope mostly for my mom, because it was just such a beautiful thing with her crying and seeing that emotion. And yeah, I guess it was such mixed feelings of, of joy, but still sadness and still, you know, mostly joy. That's how I was feeling.